Hi everyone, this is Alicia Rivera and this is my upload for Weapons of Warfare Movement of Breakthrough. Bear with me as my lesson might be a little bit longer than usual. Um, but this particular video really touched me uh, deeply and it just so happened that um, I watched it just before going to a conference and the Lord really... Um, imparted to me that I needed to do a dance with my daughter. Um, she's eight years old. And when I watched the video, it was confirmation uh, with the scripture that Pastor Lynn gives from Psalms 8-2. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. So we did... Um, a, a little dance to Eddie James Freedom and the movements are very simple um, a lot of it can come from you know jazz or um, definitely African movements and modern dance and the Hebrew words that really um, stuck with me one was elats um, to triumph to be joyful rejoice jump for joy exult jumping, leaping, gushing, or jetting forth. Um, and uh, as it says in the Dance, Dance, Dance book, and I'll read that really quick. Um, to stand out from the rest, noticeable, conspicuous, prominent, part of the battle line, trench, fort, which protects farthest towards the end, which uh, projects farthest toward the enemy, uh, to rejoice greatly, to be jubilant, glory, to leap up, to leap for joy, triumphant, and also nathar, which is to undo, make, loose, to jump, to shake, to shake off, to untie, to terrify. The Lord wants us to be free. Through the movement of shaking off and the type of fast he calls, the type of fast he calls, he will bring forth deliverance, thus indicating that dance, which terrifies the enemy, causes a loosening or shaking off of bondage. So, the dance that we um, did for the chorus part is um, to the, the chorus Freedom, Freedom. So basically, the arms swing around and stop and swing around and stop and this is like exaltation you know you're lifting up your praises to the Lord um, we also do a rocking mo a motion which is up to the Lord right and by the way the round movement is stepping to the side so it's step to the side stop step to the side stop and then there's rock to Three, four. This so this is exaltation unto the Lord, and then it's from the bottom of my feet to the top of the head. I'll exalt the Lord, right? So it's just you're reaching down, same arm as leg, but you're doing it in opposition, away from each other. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay. So the whole movement is rock to the side, stop, rock to the side. One, three, four. You do it four times, then rock four times. One, two, three, four, then down, down, up, up, and you repeat it. The next part of the sequence is the shaking off. And if you can do this with your hands, like an inward, out, and outward, shaking, 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 shaking. The feet will just stomping 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 your body's gonna be bent over so it's shaking and stomping this is to rid yourself of the shackles and you're gonna keep coming up to get rid of the chains on up until you're free and then you just turn that also repeats about three times the last part is the dance of freedom the dance of freedom is African. Um, with your feet, you're just going to step backwards and then back to place. Step backwards and back to place. And you start with your right foot. 
So from behind, it would be a step back, in place, step back, in place. You're just tapping your foot backwards. Now the movement that goes with it with the arms is the same leg as arm. And the arm will go back and back. So you're throwing off the chains. You're throwing off the burdens. So it's, you have to also have your knees bent when you're doing the, the, the legs. And you have to be kind of hunched over. And your arm is gonna, your arm and your head are gonna follow. Each, I mean, your head is gonna follow your arm. So it's one, two, three, four. The next movement, your feet are doing the same thing, stepping back. Only your arms are going to change, same arm as leg, but this time you're giving yourself, you're giving your praises to the Lord. And your head is also going up with your arm. And you're also in plie. So you're stepping back, up, in, up, in, up, in, up, in. That's the dance of freedom. The third part of the dance of freedom is throwing up your praises and it's to the side. Your feet are going step to the side, step to the side, step to the side, step to the side. Your arms are just circling like praises unto the Lord, right? Praises unto the Lord. So it's two, 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 two. So it's this way. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's the feet and the arms. Your head is also going with your arm. So you're doing it with your entire body. Okay? So the entire um, chorus is circle to the side, stop, circle to the side, stop, circle to the side, stop, circle to the side, and rock. Two. And down. And up. Up. The shake sequence is shake, middle, and up, and stop and turn, stop. The dance of freedom is back, two, three, four, front, front, two, three, four, side, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, with music. Again. Again. Dance of freedom. Back. Again, freedom dance. Side. And that's it, guys. God bless you all.